Melinda. Chief Meteorologist Catherine Thompson here. Man, have we had a wet past 24 hours, especially yesterday. The bottom really fell out, and our neighbors to the south and east have been getting rain today, too. The good news is the heaviest rain has started to wrap up and come to an end. It's moving offshore and well away from our area tonight. We should continue to dry out gradually overnight tonight. Still could see a few spotty showers here and there, and temperatures are cooling down. Behind this front, we're going to be a bit cooler, not quite as balmy as we've been. Recently, we've had temperatures in the 70s for a lot of places. Not going to happen throughout the end of the week and into the weekend. Temperatures right now are already in the 40s and 50s, most of us dropping into the 40s tonight. This was what Brush Creek Falls looked like earlier today. If you know where Brush Creek Falls is, that's going north of Bluefield between here and Pipe Stem. Just look at that raging water. Rebecca McKenzie sent this video in. She took a look down there. Not the Worst I've ever seen it. This is not major flooding in our area, but definitely some high water around. And we've had enough rain where we still could see some flooding issues tonight in spots. If you're along our eastern facing slopes, that's where the bulk of the moisture has been. Rainfall amounts range anywhere from around an inch to upwards of two or three inches. And that's, again, only in the past 24 hours. Areas to our south and east, though, got way more. The Carolinas, the Piedmont of Virginia dealing with major flooding tonight. We've got some minor flooding that we're still going to be watching tonight. We do have some flooding that could happen for Giles, Central Wythe County, street, uh, streams and creeks there. Still, we're seeing runoff going into these creeks and streams and the New River as well at Alisonia, also under a flood warning at least over the next few hours. We also have a flood warning that will go into effect tonight at midnight and last all the way through Saturday morning. This is for the New River at Glen Lynn, which is currently rising, and it is expected to crest just above flood stage early tomorrow morning at 15.8 feet. Again, this is not major flood stage, but enough where we could see some of the campgrounds in Giles County become effective. Uh, also, we could see areas along the New River Creek streams, tributaries uh, becoming high. Route 649, one of those areas where we could see flooding tonight and early tomorrow. But the water levels should drop throughout the day tomorrow. The last of the little instability, the last of the energy we have will leave and high pressure moves in pretty quickly. So I think we'll see the sun come out tomorrow and it stays with us as we head into Saturday. So let's take a close look at Futurecast. Again, just some spotty showers, lighter rain tonight, drizzle, fog. Still be careful. Again, some flooding issues will still be possible. Temperatures tonight a bit cooler in the 40s, if not the low 50s. Now tomorrow, a bit cooler will still be breezy too, but it will be sunny. It will be dry. Highs will just be cooler. We're going to be in the 50s for most, maybe some low 60s. Saturday is looking about the same, maybe just a few degrees warmer. Now, if you're wondering when the next chance of rain is going to be, I'll back it up here. Not Saturday, but Sunday. We've got a weak cold front that's going to come through the area. It does not look like a washout, but a few light showers, and that's going to bring in some even colder air at the beginning of next week. So let's look at this extended forecast and break it down for you a little bit more. Those 70s we were seeing, upper 60s, I think those are long gone, folks. Temperatures for most will be cooling behind this departing rain. We get another couple of weak fronts at the beginning of next week. Not a lot of moisture with these. But they pack a punch with the cold air, highs in the 40s, lows in the 20s and 30s in the early next week. I'll be definitely cranking the heat back up. Hey, stick with us. We'll be right back right after.